All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is, is Great Tutor, and what I do here, I solve technical drug problems and also provide very important information that can make you so you to have better, better performance in your technical drug examinations. And if you're a technical drug student, I want to welcome you, and then I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified, and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drug students. And do not forget to practice this subject. This is a practical subject. You need to practice it now. What I want to show you here now is I want to show you how you can construct uh, a an hexagonal pyramid. Uh, so hexagonal pyramid, how you can construct an hexagonal pyramid. So that's what I want to show you here now, right now. Okay, the length of side of the hexagon that we are going to use is um, is 25 millimeter. That's the length of side. So the, the first thing I'm going to do here is that I need to construct an hexagon. So I will construct it here. Um, so here I will draw a horizontal line. Then I will take my compass and take a measurement of 25 millimeters here like this. Okay, so I'll put it here and I will draw a circle like this. Okay, so this circle that I've drawn, so I'm going to call this point. This point I will call it point A. And this point I will call it point B then I'm going to put the same radius that I used to construct this circle I put at this point and I will draw an arc here draw an arc here then I put at point B here and I will draw an arc up here and down here okay so looking at this point so this is point C here this is point C here this is point D and this is point E and this is point F Okay, so with what I've done now, so the next thing I'm going to do is to connect this point together to form the hexagon. So I will draw this and then I will join this together. That is CD. I will join AD together like this. And I will join BC together. BC together like this. I will join bf together like this and i'll join ae together like this okay so i form the hexagon and so if, uh, if i like i'll just draw a line from this point to this point connecting this together and i'll also draw from here to here all right so with what i've done right now so the next thing i'm going to do is that uh, the next thing I'm going to do here is that I will draw the horizontal line through this point line EF and also horizontal line through this line CD like this. Then I will take my set square, then I will draw a vertical line through point B and a vertical line through point A. So what I'm trying to do is to form a rectangle around this hexagon. So on this hexagon now, so this is point one, this is point two, this is point three, and this is point four. So now this is the plan or the top view of the hexagonal pyramid that you want to construct as the base is in form of, uh, the base is an hexagon. So, uh, okay. Now, so the next thing that we are going to do here, just look at what I'm going to do here. So to construct the uh, pyramid now so i need to come up here so coming up here i will draw horizontal line so and then i'm going to draw a line in this direction and i will draw a line in this direction okay so draw a line in this direction and the next thing i'm going to do is this. just look at what i'm going to do so all you need to do now is to take your compass this is a rectangle so do we have a rectangle one, two, three, four. So the rectangle it surrounds the hexagon. So what you need to do now is that so looking at this point A here, I will take the distance from uh, three to four like this. Distance three to four, or I will take one to two, any one that I like. Okay. So I will take this distance from here to here, and I will put at this point here. And I will make an arc here. Okay. Don't forget that this is a rectangle. So this distance from here to here is not equal to this distance from here to here. Okay. So now I will need to take distance 
two, three. Again, so you can see that uh, it doesn't touch here. So I will extend it to point two here. And I take this distance, I'll put it here, and I'll make an arc here like this. So having done this, the next thing I'm going to do is that I will I will draw this line and I will draw a line from here to the other side like this. Don't forget that the base of the uh, hexagonal pyramid, we are not going to see the whole of it. So part of it will be hidden from us. So now, the next thing that we are going to do now, so if I number this, this is uh, going to be, so this is point 0.1, this is 1, so, so this is 1, and this is 2, this is 3, and this is point 0.4. Okay, we need to locate point A, B, C, D, E. That's what we want to do now. So what I need to do is this. I'll take my compass, put it at point 3 here, and extend it to point A here, like this. So I'll take this distance, then I will put it at point 3 here and make an arc here. So distance between 3 and A is also the same as distance between 2 and B. So I can also put it here to locate point B. So this is it. Then to locate point C, D, E, so I can just take the pinpoint, put the pinpoint of my compass at 3 and extend to point E here. Extend to point E, then I'll put at 3 and make an arc here. It's also the same as 4D. So I will put it here. It's also the same as 1C. I put it here and make an arc here. It's also the same as 2F. So I make an arc here. So having done this, so here I have this is point A here. This is point A. And this is point B. So this is point C. This is point D. This is point E, and this is point F, as you can see here. So right now, I can connect together to get the hexagon out. So I uh, will make this one, this will be feasible. I will see this very well. This will be feasible, and also EF will be feasible. EF will be feasible, and then AD will be feasible, like this. So these three sides will be feasible. But this side, so C, D, will be hidden from me, and also B, C, will also be hidden from me. So I'm drawing it with short dashes line. Also, uh, B, F, will also be hidden from me. So I'm drawing this with short dashes line for hidden part of the object. Okay. So I believe you can see this now. So with what we have done here. So what I'm going to do now is that um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to divide this into two. So all I need to do here is from center here, I take this distance. So I put it here. So this is half of it. And then for this, so I will put the big point. Okay, it's already here. So that is so. All I need to do is to transfer. So to transfer this to the other side. Don't forget that we are co constructing an hexagonal pyramid so i will also transfer this i want to locate the center so i also transfer this to the other side so this is it i transfer it here so now so i'm going to draw a vertical line i will draw a vertical line through this center very very important so we draw a vertical line through this center so this is the vertical line like this so vertical line goes like this on this vertical line i will take a measurement of 60 millimeter which is the height of the pyramid so this is it this is 60 millimeters here so the next thing i'm going to do is that i will need to connect so i'll connect point d so i'll connect point d so let me call this point let me call it point o here that is the apex of the pyramid so i'll connect point d with point o so it will be a t climb like this so now we also connect point A with point O. It will also be a thick line. We can see this, this line. Okay. Then I will also connect point E with point D like this. Okay. Then I will connect point F with point uh, O here. I can see this line very well. Okay. All right. So then uh, for point so for point B and C, they are hidden, but uh, this line that goes from F 
to O as taking over point B. So I can align from B. So for this one, I'll just draw this with shoulder sheet line to show that this is hidden is at the back. So you can't see it. Okay. So this is it. So this is how the pyramid we look. So as simple as I've shown it here, all you need to do is to practice. Once you practice it, you definitely master it. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Keep on practicing and God bless you.